guys, welcome back to Court Climbs. Today I'm going to be talking about resoling your climbing shoes. Why you should resole, when you should resole, how to resole, and my personal experience resoling my shoes for the first time. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll make sure to respond. Let's get started. So let's talk a little bit about what resoling is. Basically, when you climb, the rubber on your shoe wears down a little bit over time to the point where you can actually strip that rubber off, put brand new rubber on, and that's what resoling is. Why would you want to resole your climbing shoes? Well, there's a couple reasons. First off, climbing shoes are expensive. I'm spending upwards of like 100 to 150 bucks on every single brand new pair of climbing shoes that I get, and I don't know about you, but that's not exactly my favorite thing to do. So resoling usually is about a third to half of that cost. And that will save you a lot of money over time. Most resoles are gonna cost in the 30 to $60 range. Whereas like I said before, a quality pair of climbing shoes can cost anywhere from like $100 and upwards. Resoling your climbing shoes not only saves you money, but it also saves the environment, which is really awesome. Obviously, you don't want to put a pair of climbing shoes that is perfectly good and could be resold into a landfill too soon. So by resoling your shoes, you're getting a little bit extra life out of them and saving them from going into that landfill a little bit too early. Lastly, resoling your climbing shoes saves you from pain. When you get a brand new pair of climbing shoes, there's that period where you put them on and it just hurts to climb in them until you break them in. When you resole your climbing shoes, you kind of cheat the system because you've already broken the shoe in. So when you get them back from the resoler and go to climb in them, right away they're going to feel like they're broken in because they're the same shoe that you've been climbing in. All right, so we've talked about why you should resole your climbing shoes. Now let's talk about when. It really is all about the wear on the shoe. To understand climbing shoe wear, let's look at a climbing shoe. There are two main important parts to consider. And that's the shoe's rand versus the sole. The rand is a thin layer of rubber that wraps over the toe of the climbing shoe, whereas the sole is the thick part of rubber that wears away over time. Ideally, the best time to resole a climbing shoe is kind of when the sole has worn down to the point where it almost meets the rand. Some people say you should have about a millimeter of rubber left on your climbing shoe when you go to resole them. So the important part here is that you resole your climbing shoes before you damage the rand. And I'll give you an example of what a damaged rand would look like. So you can get your rand repaired and many professional places will take it and repair it for you at an extra cost, but you can save yourself that bit of money and a little bit of headache for the resoler if you just resole your shoes before it gets to that point. You don't want to resole your shoes after you've already damaged the rand if you can help it, but on the flip side of that, you also don't want to resole your shoes when there's still plenty of perfectly good rubber on them and you're just going to be getting overall less value from resoling a perfectly good pair of climbable climbing shoes. All right, so now that we've talked about what resoling is, why you should do it, and when to do it, let's talk about how. There are two main ways that you can resole your climbing shoes. The first way is that you can do it yourself at home. I do know that there are kits available online and you can resole your climbing shoes yourself at home. I do not know if it is worth doing it yourself at home versus taking it to a professional resoler, but from the little bit that I read on different online forums and things, most people would agree that taking your shoes to a professional resoler rather than doing it yourself at home is probably worth the time and the money and everything in the end because it's really, it's going to turn out, the quality is going to turn out better overall. So the second option is to take your shoes to a professional resoler. Most professional resolers will allow you to drop your shoes off or mail them in if you don't live nearby. So let's talk a little bit about my personal experience with climbing shoes and resoling. So at this point, I have a pair of Mad Rock drone shoes that I absolutely love. If you haven't seen my Mad Rock drone LV climbing shoe review video, I'll go ahead and leave a card up top here and you can go ahead and check out all the reasons why I love those shoes. But 
That being said, I was super stoked to be able to resole those shoes instead of having to go and buy a brand new pair and re-break them in. Which that brings me to my first point in my own climbing shoe resoling experience is if you find a shoe that you like enough to resole, when it's almost time, when you can kind of sense that it's starting to wear down, get another pair so that in the time that it takes to send the, your first pair off to the resoler and have them do it, you can climb, still climb in a shoe that you enjoy climbing in if you have the financial means to do so. I understand that not everyone can just go buy a second pair, but if you do, it's a really good option. So like any 20 something year old, my experience with a topic that I knew nothing about started with a good old Google. I basically just Googled climbing shoe resole but I specifically added Science Friction 3.0 rubber, which is the type of rubber that the Mad Rock Drone LV uses. And I really wanted that rubber because that was one of the features that I really loved about that particular shoe. So adding that specific rubber type did narrow my search down because there are quite a few resolers out there. One thing that I did is I found a site called 99 Boulders and it essentially lists all the different resolers available in the US and it allows you to check different types of rubber and different options that you'd like and shows which resolers do that particular feature, which was really nice. So I'll go ahead and leave a link to that 99 Boulder site in the description below because it was super helpful. So basically what I did is I used the 99 Boulder site to pick which rubber I'd like and found three different resolers available that would resole my climbing shoe with that rubber. And then I went and I looked at the three different websites of those resolers and found the cheapest option because who doesn't like a good deal? The resoler that I ended up choosing was Positive Resoles out of Joshua Tree. And I chose them, like I said, because of their price. But one thing to point out is they did say that they had a five to eight week period for a resole to get done. So it is a little bit of a longer waiting period, but I'm not in any huge hurry to get my climbing shoes back. So for me, it worked out. So one thing to keep in mind when you're looking at pricing is that generally you only need half of your climbing shoe resold because you're normally just climbing on the toe of your climbing shoe, the back half unless something really funky happened, usually is gonna be good. So the overall cost for the resole of my shoe was $35 for the front half of the shoe. My Rand wasn't damaged, so I didn't have to add any additional fees there. Then it was $15.50 for a medium flat rate box from USPS to actually ship my shoes there. And then I put an additional $4 of insurance on the box and that insured my shoes for up to $200 if for whatever reason they got lost or damaged in the mail. The process was pretty simple. I just filled out a form on Positive Resoles website asking me basic information like name, address, all that good stuff. Things about my climbing shoe like size, the brand of it, the model, the color. And then they sent me an email with instructions on how specifically to mail my shoe to them. So one thing I would highly suggest no matter what reseller you go with is making sure to read all the instructions carefully so that you do everything right and your shoes get to them, resold properly, and back to you safely and at the best quality possible. Yeah, so at this point I've sent my shoes off to Positive Resoles. It is the middle of February and when you guys are watching this video it will probably be a couple months later but I'm excited to see the quality of my shoes and how they come back and I'll be sharing that information with you right now. Okay, so I mailed my shoes out on March 1st and they came back to me on April 29th. So right around the eight week mark, like positive resoles estimated. This is what my shoes looked like when they came back from the resoler. The one thing that I'm curious about is that they made some notes in white on the rubber of the shoe and I just am interested to see if it'll rub off over time when I climb or if it'll just stay there as part of the shoe. For comparison, here's what a pair of drones that have been climbed on for two months look like compared to my freshly resold pair. I'm interested to hear about your reselling experiences. Have you ever had a really good or a really bad experience? Drop it in the comments, I'd love to hear about it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like. 
Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay hyped.